So I have a lung disease that affects the amount of oxygen that I can get in and out. So it's more like an air trapping situation. And I have to get up in the morning and prepare my metabolism to rev up and to be able to breathe better as I move around. So breathing is everything. Breathing affects all of your activities, all of your thoughts. If you can't get oxygen and you can't breathe, you really can't be involved in life. So um, anything that involves exertion, I guess it pretty much covers everything. So walking is difficult sometimes. It becomes um, more difficult the longer I walk. And then as my metabolism raises up, it becomes a little bit easier. I also play tennis and I and I uh, work out with, with yoga, yoga poses and yoga. Mostly doing housework too can affect this. Like I, I can't really uh, vacuum without stopping to catch my breath and going up and down the stairs with a load of laundry is also difficult. Um, sometimes unloading and loading the dishwasher can be difficult because you're bending over and putting pressure on your abdomen. So. Yeah. Lots of, diff lots of ways, and sometimes the ways that affects me is surprising to me. So I don't expect it to happen. My pulmonary uh, physician, my pul pulmonologist here at UC mentioned it to me and put me in touch with you and your group. And I was lucky enough to part be part of the study last year to be able to use it for a couple of weeks and see if it would help me. Mm -hmm. And it certainly has. I've been using it all year so many ways, and more and more I've found ways to use it that I didn't think would uh, be necessary, like first thing in the morning. So with air trapping, especially changing position from sleeping and then standing up, there's a difference in the pressure, air pressure. So I have to sit down and now acclimatize my body to, the, to sitting up and using Pep Buddy to try to get any stale air or any trapped uh, carbon dioxide out is so helpful and to be able to get new air in. Um, beyond that, um, if I have to go to, I have to use an inhaler too to continue to play and uh, do the activities that I want. But the Pep Buddy really helps me to focus and um, take a moment to, to be quiet, to try to really help my body get the oxygen that I need, get the old air out and the new air in. It's tremendous. So, um, as I'm playing tennis between points, if it's been a longer point and I'm feeling like I have um, large oxygen needs, I will use it to get uh, what I have trapped out and then um, I can continue more easily. Also at the end of playing, sometimes you just have to be quiet and kind of relax, drink some water and uh, you know use it to to get more, the the air need, the oxygen needs are so difficult to explain to someone because all of your body functions and your systems all need air to mm -hmm. to move all the blood and to get everything your, your brain and uh, so it it's an all consuming need. <laughs> uh, if I'm more. More, for instance, if I'm going for a walk, I'll wear it. Um, it's in, on my dining room table, and so it's accessible as I need it for anything in the house. Mm -hmm. I wear it to tennis, and I use it there. I, I'll put it on when I'm uh, doing yoga. Um, so mm -hmm. it's usually with me all the time, yeah. So mostly I try to be quiet. <laughs> it's difficult, right? So you're breathing in through your nose and you're breathing out through the through the mouth, through the pepper, right? And I'm using my abdominal muscles to draw air in and out. I'm not using the um, upper this this is shallow breathing and it doesn't get the correct amount of air and it doesn't get the old air out that's trapped way further down in your lungs. So it's very important to use abdominal breathing mm -hmm. to to breathe. The whole entire time. Well, the pep buddy makes you do the pursed lip breathing, so you have to do that. 
And so when, if I don't have it with me, I do. I, to create that negative pressure, I use pursed lip breathing in my life. Otherwise, if I don't have it with me. So the diaphragmatic breathing is the abdominal breathing. So plus it it's, uh, it's works your muscles. And it, by using this and helping your abdominal muscles strengthen, it helps you to breathe better over time too. Does this help you with relaxation and anxiety management as well? Yes, because breathing is such a such an integrative part of, of life. If you feel like you can't breathe, you start to, to panic and you think you're going to choke to death. So you have to you have to calm yourself down. It's a very, very it's like a double edged sword because you have to calm down to breathe, but you can't breathe. And so you're worried that you're not going to calm down and it's so to be able to take a minute to just really focus on the, the method and what you're doing kind of takes your mind off the fear of not being able to breathe the next breath. It's scary. It's scary. Yeah, when I was first diagnosed with my disease, I did, before I was, I didn't know what, and that, what was happening. It took them two years to figure it out. And that, um, that you don't know where it's going to progress. So it's probably similar to what people who do uh, rescue inhalers for asthma. You don't know. You don't know if you're going to end up in the hospital. You don't know. Mm -hmm. So to be able to take a minute to recognize, okay, I've reached the upper limit of what I, what I know that I can handle. I have to stop and I have to take a moment and I have to get the old air out and I'll be, I'll be okay. So pursed lip breathing is, is a, um, it's a physical characteristic of your mouth. This kind of makes it more uniform and it creates a better seal and a better uh, resistance than just your own mouth. Yeah, and it kind of, so now you're focusing on doing this and so now you're not as focused in the panic of what is happening to your breathing. So when we develop everybody, our thought was that it works in four ways and I wanna see if you can relate to those four ways or not. Okay. So one, it helps, um, it helps slow down your <clears throat> breathing rate. Yes. So if you're breathing fast, it helps you slow down your breathing rate. It would prolong your exhalation. So you would take a longer time to exhale out. Yes. Um, third was that it gives you a little bit of a back pressure. You can feel some resistance as you're breathing out. And that back pressure, you know, physiologically, it works in keeping the small areas open so you don't trap air and all air can mm -hmm. easily come out. And I agree. The fourth one is it becomes a point of focus because when you are, you know, distracted and unable to focus on your breathing, putting something in mouth just gives you another yes. kind of a cognitive feedback that I need to focus on my breathing. Absolutely, I agree with all of that, and that's really why it's become so integral in, in my whole day. Mm -hmm. All four of those awesome. aspects, yes. Okay, that's that's good to know. Yeah, good to know, yeah. it's good to have it. <laughs> It's great. It's compact. It's easy to wear. It, the the uh, the necklace is stretchy, so it's it, it doesn't feel like it's choking you. I really I, I really appreciate having this and being able to use it. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Thank you. I would suggest that anybody who has trouble breathing to try this. Uh, it would it 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 gives you another tool in your toolbox to survive your day and maybe even feel better at the end of the day. Thank you so much, Maya. Thank you.